Welcome back to Blue Collar Bass and TV. Today, guys, we're taking you to Walmart. We're gonna show you what you can get for 20 bucks to get you into bass fishing. All right, so we're back at Walmart. We're gonna show you what you can get for 20 bucks to get you out on the water and start fishing. So we're gonna pick up some Little five inch Senkos by Ozark Trail. These are awesome for $1.97. Can't go wrong there. So get that in the green pumpkin. We're also gonna get some Ozark Trail Lunker Lizards. Okay, this is gonna be similar to what you can get uh, in a creature bait. Okay, so instead of going out and spending a lot of money on some of these fancy creature baits, go ahead and just pick up some lizards. All right, continuing down, pick up some of these yum crawls for 250. These are going to imitate a really good crawfish pattern, so you can't go wrong with the black and blue. And we're going to Texas rig both of these guys. All right, if you haven't already got a got yourself a rod and reel combo, go ahead and do that. Walmart has some of their premium rods that are just rod blanks up here at the top. And you can find anything from Abu Garcia rods, uh, Luz rods, various uh, brands. Those are gonna be your more premium rods. And then also you can find more uh, premium reels here where you have to buy them separately. Uh, but they offer some good things for a decent price. So they got these Ozark Trail spinning reels here. These are pretty good for only 15 bucks. Also, they got some uh, cheaper Luz reels. For 25 bucks, you can't go wrong there either. Pair that up with one of these $30 luge rods and you got yourself a good beginner setup. Also going down through there here, they have uh, several combos that are already set up. So whatever style you're looking for, whether it's a spinning combo or a bait caster, they got you covered. All right, so moving on down, all right, so the next thing on the list, we're gonna pick up some spinner baits. You know, spinner baits are simple. They've been catching fish for years and there's no reason to stop throwing them. I know a lot of people have moved on from spinner bait, but these are only a dollar. If you look down here at the bottom, they have a bulk bin. These are only a dollar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get two white spinner baits. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Okay, it's gonna imitate a school of bait fish coming through and the bass love these. All right, so we're gonna pick up two of these. Okay, the next thing on the list I wanna pick up is a crankbait, uh, specifically a square bill, something that's fairly shallow diving, nothing too deep. Uh, so Walmart also has their own specific brand lures here. And this is what we wanna to stick to since we're on that budget. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up, let's see. Right here, imitates a perch. And guys, this could probably go for like a bluegill pattern as well. So we'll go ahead and pick one of those up. Um, oh, down here, this is perfect actually. So this is in white. It also mimics uh, minnows and bait fish. And starting out, guys, these are gonna work perfect. So we'll get both of those. Actually, actually, let's don't get this one. Let's go ahead and get this one. So if you're fishing early spring, a lot of times those crawfish are molting and they'll be more of a brownish red color. So since it is springtime right now, we'll go ahead and pick up this square, square bill and this brown orange. And that's gonna get us going this year, uh, starting out in the spring. And guys, those are only $1.97 a piece. So you can't go wrong there either. Uh, the next thing on the list, folks, is we're gonna have to get some terminal tackle to go with those Senkos and the creature baits we got. We're gonna pick up some extra wide gap hooks. Looking for a good style here. 
We're gonna go with the four all EWG hook. So right here, and this is a bulk pack, guys. We got 12 hooks in here. And what this does, it allows us to rig up any stick bait or uh, creature bait and really do a good Texas rig on this. All right, so that's 384, so it's a little bit more expensive, but you're gonna be able to use these for a long time, folks. All right, the next thing on the list, we need to pick up some uh, bullet weights. That way we can get our Texas rig on down in the water column a little bit. And if you have any kind of current where you're fishing, you're gonna to need to get that bait down in that water column. You can't just rig it weightless. Uh, where are they at? Let's see here. Well, they got some tungsten. You don't really want any tungsten if you're on a budget because that stuff is uh, really expensive. It is good, but it is expensive. Huh. All right. So if you don't have any bullet weights, you can improvise with these slip sinkers. It'll still match up pretty well and still uh, allow you to do a Texas rig. Uh, but if you don't know what a bullet weight is, it looks like this. It literally looks like a bullet, okay? Like I said, these are made out of tungsten, tungsten, a little bit higher quality. It's gonna allow you to feel the bottom a lot better and also it's more sensitive. Dang, I thought I seen some. All right, trying to look for one more item that we might could use. Actually, let's see how much this uh, lure set is right here. So this is a five piece lure set right here. Uh, so it's only nine bucks, right at nine bucks. Um, but I don't think we need this. I think this will put us over the the limit of 20 bucks. All right, another item you wanna get, if you wanna be able to fish a lot of different situations, is gonna be one of these Pro Model Jigs by Strike King. All right, I'm a big fan of fishing jigs just because you can flip them in a lot of different cover and you're not gonna get hung up. All right, so last item on the list is gonna be a jig and we're gonna get this in black and blue. And this is also a style jig, it's called a pro model jig. It's like a casting jig or a flipping jig. All right, it's gonna allow you to do multi-purpose fishing. It's not like a football head jig or something that's kind of made for more specific types of fishing. All right, guys, so let's add this up and we're gonna see what we're sitting at. All right, guys, so after adding this up, we went over the budget of $20. So I actually took these off of the list. So this was two bucks and that put us down at the $20 mark, okay? These yum crawls are gonna do the same thing. It's just gonna be uh, more realistic, honestly. So we just took away the creature bait at the very beginning. Okay guys, we are back on the boat. We just got back from the Walmart haul for the beginner basic necessities that are required for getting into bass fishing. Uh, so we ended up going in, doing a challenge, make, and trying to see if we could keep it under 20 bucks, which we did. We actually went ahead and I didn't show it on camera, but we actually took away one of the spinner baits and it was only a dollar. Uh, and we also took away the uh, the Ozark Trail lizards. I did that because I thought I was gonna go over with the, the tax, but I actually didn't. So we ended up doing this around $18, as you can tell in the receipt, 1807. So what we got here was the five inch Senkos made by Ozark Trail. These are awesome guys. Uh, the way I would rig this is if the current is really slow, I would rig this weightless. That way it's gonna sink real naturally and the bass kill this. This is one of my go-tos. And guys, these are really nice worms. They have a really high salt, uh, salt content, just like the Yamamoto uh, Senkos that are the world famous ones that everything was built off of. Uh, but these are pretty much just as good, guys, for a fraction of the cost. All right, so uh, if you don't know how to Texas rig a bait, go ahead and follow the, the video link that uh, is in the top right-hand corner. 
and that'll show you how to Texas rig pretty much any soft plastic, worm, creature bait, crawl, you name it. It's there. It'll show you how to do that weightless and weighted. Okay, so uh, we also picked up the young Critzy Crawls, and we got these in black and blue. You can also Texas rig these. Okay, these are gonna be really awesome, uh, especially in dark stained water. You're gonna be wanting to fish this black and blue. It's gonna be able to stand out to the bass a lot better. And then in clear water situations, go ahead and use those green pumpkin Senkos. Now, as far as crankbaits go, we picked up two crankbaits. That way we can target different seasons. We got the brown and the orange uh, square bill crankbait. We're gonna use that primarily in the springtime. That way uh, it can kind of imitate a crawfish pattern. And then we got this more translucent, uh, transparent white square bill. And that's also gonna imitate a bait fish or a minnow. So those are pretty awesome. They have really nice hooks. It's normally not something you get with a cheaper bait. It actually uh, says they are Eagle Claw hooks. Okay, so maybe a little bit more of a specialty hook. And then uh, my favorite thing out of this whole haul is this uh, Pro Model Jig made by Strike King. Guys, you can't even get this jig alone from Strike King for 250, let alone the jig and two crawl trailers. So they're very similar to the Critzy Crawl, but it's made by Strike King. It's their Rage Crawl. Okay, so you get two of those and the jig, and it also has a rattle on the jig. So that's also uh, really key to triggering those strikes. Okay, to round out the Texas rig, we went ahead and bought some bullet weights. And I know these say bullet weights, but it's actually an egg sinker and like a slip weight. This is uh, not what I would preferably go for, but Walmart currently didn't have any regular style bullet weights. So I know the package says bullet weights, but if you look at the picture, that's what we were looking for, is a bullet weight that looks like that. All right, so we pick those up, that way we can rig this weighted, that way we can get it down in the water column if we're gonna use a Texas rig. And then also we got some middle of the road, four all heavy wire EWG hooks. And this is gonna allow you to Texas rig those worms and those crawls. And once again, guys, if you don't know how to Texas rig, go ahead and click the video in the corner and that'll take you to showing you how to Texas rig a worm. And then the last bait that we got is this spinner bait. And guys, this spinner bait has a small Colorado blade as well as a willow blade. So this was only a buck. And I know some folks are gonna say, oh, this is too basic. Uh, this is basic guys, but these do catch fish. I've bought these same Walmart brand spinner baits before and believe me, they catch fish. One thing that you wanna add, they didn't have them today, uh, but you wanna add these Strike King trailer hooks. So guys, a trailer hook, you add that on to the spinner bait because a lot of times the fish will actually come up and strike either the blades or they'll short strike on the actual spinner bait down here and they won't actually get the hook. So you add this trailer hook and a lot of times you'll catch the fish that just short strike. And it just has a little rubber retainer that keeps it on the hook. All right guys, and one of the cool things about spinner baits, especially a bit for a beginner, and that's what this whole video is about is the simplicity of these baits. They're not too complicated. The techniques needed to fish these are not complicated. I'm gonna start rolling out some videos on how to fish a spinnerbait, how to fish those crankbaits, how to fish a jig, all these things. I do have a video on the Senko, so go ahead and uh, find that one as well on my channel. Guys, I hope you like this $20 budget beginner fishing tackle series. Uh, if you have any questions, put those in the comment box below. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. That lets me know that you guys like the videos. And if you don't like the videos, maybe I need to tailor the videos a little bit. Also, hit that subscribe button. That way you guys can become members of the Blue Collar Bass and TV family. And then also hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified whenever I'm rolling out new videos. All right, you guys have a great day.